morning, boys and girls. Today's Wednesday, October 28th, 2020. It is hump day. That means it's halfway through the week. Be sure that today during your asynchronous learning day that you check out our virtual school website to see some of the activities that our art, music, STEM, library, and PE teachers have left there for us. There are lots of fun things for you to do. If you're a South Glens Falls student, don't forget today is our picture day. It is at the high school in the LGI. All of the times for that are right in your Google slide presentation. Two days away is Orange and Black Day. I'm really excited about that. And don't forget to read your joke of the day. Why do bees have sticky hair? Hmm. Today I am going to read two poems. The first one is called Sleeping Sardines on page 54. And the next one is called One Inch Tall on page 55. Sleeping sardines, and you can see them. A sardine is a small fish, if you don't know what that is. They come in a can. People like to eat them. I don't like to eat them, but some people do. I'm tired of eating just beans, says I, so I opened a can of sardines, but they started to squeak. Hey, we're trying to sleep. We were snuggled up tight till you let in the light. You big silly sap, let us finish our nap. Now close the lid, so that's what I did. Will somebody please pass the beans? So I don't think they're supposed to be uh, talking in there. That's for sure. I don't think they're asleep. They're for eating. Next poem is called One Inch Tall. And in this poem, it talks about what you would do if you were one inch tall. Think about that for a minute. Close your eyes and picture what it would be like to be one inch tall. That's about that thick. What could you do that's different than what you do right now? Would it be better? Would it be worse? Let's think about that as I'm reading. One inch tall. If you were only one inch tall, you'd ride a worm to school. The teardrop of a crying ant would be your swimming pool. A crumb of cake would be a feast and last you seven days at least. A flea would be a frightening beast if you were one inch tall. If you were only one inch tall, you'd walk beneath the door and it would take about a month to get down to the store. A bit of fluff would be your bed. You'd swing upon a spider's thread and wear a thimble on your head if you were one inch tall. You'd surf across the kitchen sink upon a stick of gum. You couldn't hug your mama. You'd just have to hug her thumb. You'd run from people's feet in fright. To move a pen would take all night. This poem took 14 years to write because I'm just one inch tall. There he is with his worm to school. That's kind of a fun one to think about. When I was a teacher a really long time ago, I used to have read that poem to my kids and we used to think about that and think how our lives would be different. Well, I hope everybody has a great Wednesday. Please remember to look at our two shout outs today. As always, they are good ones. And don't forget to do the Pledge of Allegiance, even though you're not with your entire class. I will see everybody bright and early on Thursday morning.